Okay, this is how to test your uh, MSD ignition with a very, very simple setup. Um, they actually outline it how to do it in the uh, MSD troubleshooting and wiring diagram book, which I, I think I got at SEMA or something. But apparently it's not very easy to get this book. You could probably get it at Amazon, I suppose, if you looked. But uh, it kind of details on how to, you know, how to, how to check it out and make sure it's working. But this is a quick and dirty way of figuring out if it's going to work or not before you install it because I know the frustration of going through and wiring it all up, making it look good, and then <clears throat> it doesn't work. Awesome. Especially if you buy a used one. This one here I got a swap meet a couple of years ago. It's been sitting on the shelf, so I'm sure whoever had it before me has probably been sitting too because it had dust and small critters living on it. But anyways, what I got here is a basic 12-volt battery, and then I've got it sitting on a block because the table itself I've got it rigged as a 12 volt negative ground, just like if, if you're if you're installing it on the vehicle. So the table would simulate the frame, the body, engine block, et cetera, et cetera. So I've got it grounded with a rather crappy set of jumper cables to the table. Then I have my positive here going to the other piece of wood, so isolated from the table again. Here's my constant 12 volts. Ground again goes to the table. And this is, these, are the, these are the main power leads to the MSD. And then my switch power is right here on a roach clip. Then you got the coil over here. It's grounded to, it doesn't really matter. I mean, that thing would be floating in space. I think it would be fine. And then I've got the coil wire going over to an alligator clip. That's about a half inch. Is what MSD says, about a half inch away from whatever your grounded surface is. So what we'll do is simulate how it's installed on a vehicle except for, you know, some place where if something goes wrong, you're not throwing wrenches through your windshield because you've got a nice install job and they have to rip it all out. So here, I'll turn the key on. So this simulates our keyed power. And then what we do is you take the uh, ignition pickup leads and you short them together. So basically you take a jumper, which I made here earlier, and now I've probably lost it. I'm prepared. I should make videos for a living. There it is. Okay. This made a jumper out of some, like, 14-gauge wire. Basically, you just stick it in the ends, short the two ends together, pull it out, and as soon as you collapse the field, it'll discharge. Or you can take the white, what they call the, the, the trigger wire, which is for, you know, like older-style ignitions, and you can ground it to the table, too. So it's the same idea. You're triggering the ignition. So basically, if this throws a big spark out there, then it's good. So we'll trigger this. I'd say that's pretty substantial. So this ignition test is good. Yeah, I don't even know if this battery is charged. I honestly, I pulled it off the floor, so I mean, this is not an ideal situation, but you know that it works. I mean, if you want to just cover all your bases, yes, the battery's charged. Get some, you know, a little bit better looking jumper cables. I think these jumper cables have been sitting outside underneath the truck for like 10 years or something. I just, I just threw this together seriously, and I was like, well, you know, I'm going to test this. So if this works for you, maybe to be able to test stuff, cool. I mean, it doesn't have to be as elaborate a setup. I just did it to keep everything straight. So I hope this helps. Go ahead and give her a shot, and Maybe it'll make your life a little easier. Thanks.